Rex Bear Leak Project, you were looking at an image that NASA claims they took in 1969. And I'm going to show you a mosaic of Earth images from NASA. And also I'm going to show you an image that's compiled of, or a mosaic that's compiled of over 36,000 images taken from people around the world where they geocached. Essentially, there was a GPS location from each image, and NASA put together all of these images. And guess what? They came up with the globe. So this image I find interesting because I don't buy the official moon landings from the 60s Apollo. I certainly think they went to the moon. I just don't think the images that they're sharing with us are legit. So what you're looking at here is the supposed NASA image from 69, and it, I'm going to scroll up here a little bit. Despite helping mankind move forward for decades, NASA has a bit of nostalgic sense to it. They got a typo in there, despite helping mankind. <laughs> this week, the space agency unveiled an image of Earth from the Apollo 10 taken 36,000 nautical miles away. The image is from May 18th, 1969 nearly 50 years ago. So for people that say everything that NASA shows is CGI, did they have CGI capable of doing that 50 years ago? That looks very similar to the planets we see with our own telescopes. I mean, I look at planets with my telescope, they look very similar to this in shape, just different colors. So here is the global selfie mosaic where NASA and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory compiled 3.2 billion pixel size. Okay, let me just read this to you. A low resolution preview of the 3.2 billion pixel size NASA Earth Day global selfie 2014 photo mosaic. The image is compromised, not compromised, it's comprised of more than 36,000 individual photos submitted by people around the world. Now, for the flat earth debate, how about we contact these people from over 113 countries, from Antarctica to Yemen, and find out if every single one of these images was a lie or a part of the NASA propaganda machine that so many people feel everything they're told from NASA is a lie. I certainly am not on the everything NASA tells us is the truth bandwagon by any means, although there is a lot of information that NASA presents that I feel is very valuable and legit. Uh, maybe it's because my great grandpa, I'm sorry, not my great grandpa, my great uncle was a rocket scientist for NASA. Maybe it's because I have family members that have worked specifically with NASA. So maybe I'm just a shill for NASA, even though I think that there's a large portion of information that is false. So call it what you will. I've heard people say never a straight answer. And I do feel that oftentimes we are told gobbledygook or disinformation. However, as far as the earth is concerned, I still strongly believe that we are on a globe. Enough about that. So here is the image compiled of 36,000 different people and their images from the locations that they were at. Looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty round. Now, I like this. Come on, NASA, make your mind up. What does the Earth really look like? Well, here's one thing about astrophotography. It's an entire, like you have to get an education to even be able to do basic things with astrophotography oftentimes because you have to do layering, you have to add certain colors, there are certain filters that are used, and they're so far away that you have to set your camera up at a specific shoot, like it, it shoots at a specific speed. So... I look at the 2007, the 97 image. Those look photoshopped to me. That image from 75 looks similar to the image from 69. But, you know, when I see images now, 
if they are real, like the one, let's just say from 2015 right there, doesn't that look like a sick planet to you? Or does that look like the healthy image like this one right here? See, the Earth looks a lot bluer, a lot healthier. And this is from 50 years ago, folks. CGI was not this effective 50 years ago. And if you say, yes, it was, Rex, please prove it to me. I think there's more evidence pointing to it being a globe model than an endless flat Earth. And this is going to cause a huge division because people hear about the flat Earth that have studied the globe model, and it's so far out to them that they're immediately going to lash out at you, and then you're going to lash back out at them. It's what the powers that be want. It's what those in power that fear they could lose their power by knowledge, by people having true knowledge. Let's throw some more curveballs out there for the masses. Now, once again, there could be a lot of anomalies on our own planet that I don't know about, that most of us don't know about. So maybe that's why NASA hides so much stuff. As far as the shape of the planet goes, though, wouldn't it make more sense that just like all the other planets out there, just like when you throw water, like let's say you have a glass of water and you throw it, what does the water do? It turns into droplets, into round droplets. Now, for people that say gravity isn't real, gravity doesn't exist, essentially, oh, gravity's BS, you can't prove gravity. If you jump out of a building, what happens? You fall to the ground, right? Is that considered gravity? I mean, I guess for a layman's terms, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to realize that if you jump up, you're going to land down. So I'm just saying, guys. Now, that doesn't prove that the Earth's round, and it also doesn't prove that the Earth's flat when you say that NASA didn't go to the moon or that NASA only gave us two images over 40 years of the Earth. How does that prove the Earth's flat? You get my point. So let's leave it at that. This is more geared towards this image, and then you look at some of the newer images. So... Let's go back to this image here, the mosaic. This is a very cool picture, in my opinion. And then this right here, the 2015 image versus the 75, it just seems, that's what the Earth looks like, though, now, you guys. I mean, look at the atmosphere. It's this hazy, transhuman, silvery haze. Hazy haze. <laughs> I said that twice. It's not vibrant and blue like it used to be. It's like a transhuman blue most of the time. Lately, the atmosphere has been looking better because I've noticed there's been a lot less chemtrails unless they're using different formulas now, which they very well could be because people are waking up to it on a mass scale. So question everything, leakproject.com. And also make sure to pick up one of these quick bivvies. I'm going to leave a link in the video description box. These things are awesome. They will literally keep you warmer in a very cold situation if you get stranded. So I would strongly recommend these things. They are awesome. Have them for yourself, give them to your friends, your family. Put them in your bug out bag, put them in your car. If you have a motorcycle, you travel the country, put it in there. Have one on hand when you travel. They're tiny. You could easily put a few of these things under your car seat. leakproject.com. Be the change you want to see, folks. Thanks for being here.